Welcome to the AI Guide, where we focus on the human impact of AI. So do you want to be a coder today? That's the question we start to answer in this episode, courtesy of the Wall Street Journal, an article titled AI Deployed to Solve Legacy Tech Issues. Generative AI is starting to help business technology leaders with the long overdue task of modernizing their information technology systems, some of them laden with code from a programming language that predates the Beatles. And by the way, I think most of you know that I have spent more than 20 years now running IT groups at regular corporations. So what they just said is 100% true. A big problem that we have in our space and legacy companies have is we have COBOL running around. By the way, that was what they were teaching people 50 years ago. Said Amin Vinjara, chief data officer at 75-year-old payroll processing company ADP, which is the biggest. The number of developers conversant in COBOL is dwindling. No kidding. ADP is exploring the use of generative AI to translate its mainframe code from COBOL, a language first designed in the 1950s for mainframe computers and still commonly used at banks and financial services firms and the government, into Java, a relative newcomer among programming languages that dates to 1995. So that programming language is almost 30 years old now whereas COBOL is 70 years old. The translation would lessen the need to find and train COBOL specialists who have become a relatively rare commodity as a generation of experts retires and new programmers opt for modern languages like Python, which makes complete sense, right? All web programming, AI programming and everything, none of that is done in COBOL. And no modern tech company is based on a mainframe computer either. This is even more crucial now as CIOs look to increase efficiency and keep IT costs in check. In the past year, generative AI coding assistance from Microsoft-owned GitHub, Amazon, Google, and IBM have emerged to help developers with tasks like auto-completing code snippets, and writing code documentation. Some developers estimate the coding assistants raise productivity by about 25%. I'm going to do a separate video next week on that statement. Look for that next week. More recently, companies such as ADP are using generative AI and similar coding tools to experiment with upgrading their old code. IBM is marketing its Watson X AI coding assistant to help customers quickly and easily address the foibles of their legacy tech, said IBM. That's where they start to run into risks, skills, challenges, knowledge gaps with very expansive applications with tens of millions of lines of code in them. So these are massive massive applications, and that explains why they have not been upgraded yet. Launched last fall, IBM's coding assistant uses generative AI to help developers migrate code from COBOL to Java, or continue to even use COBOL. So COBOL, as I said, underpins mainframe computers. They require a great deal of maintenance, but they still work very well. IBM's tool gives developers new code suggestions and allows users to ask questions in plain English, like what does this section of code do? Luma said the IBM coding assistant is expected to help companies update legacy systems in just a year or two as opposed to several to many years. For example, the company Wayfair is primarily using Google's coding assistant. Wayfair, which is 20 years old now, doesn't use COBOL, but has legacy code in languages like PHP, old database code in languages like SQL, as well as code written by developers who have since left the company, and that's custom code. Over the years, you've built out code that hasn't been well documented, and I can personally tell you in corporations, this is a huge issue. 
especially with older code existing with no documentation whatsoever. Wayfair is counting on the AI tools to help reduce technical debt or the flaws and costs generated when companies try to fix legacy technology problems too quickly because these take a lot of time to fix. With AI, engineers can more quickly learn new languages, thereby reducing this technical debt. So in this case, we can clearly see that AI is an assistant to the programmer or developer and not a replacement. However, it does increase their productivity. Again, look for that video next week. So if you like this video, please like, subscribe, and share. Also, please support us on Patreon. Five or ten bucks really helps. And thanks so much for tuning in. We really appreciate your support. Take care. Bye.